But Solomon was building his own house thirteen years, and he finished all his house. He built also the house of the forest of Lebanon, the length thereof an hundred cubits, and the breadth thereof fifty cubits, and the height thereof thirty cubits, upon four rows of cedar pillars, with cedar beams upon the pillars. And covered with cedar above upon the beams, that on forty-five pillars, fifteen a row, and windows three rows, and light against light three ranks. And all the doors and posts square, with the windows, and light against light three ranks. And he made a porch of pillars, the length thereof fifty cubits, and the breadth thereof thirty cubits, and the porch before them, and the pillars and the thick beam before them. Then he made a porch for the throne where he might judge, the porch of judgment, and covered with cedar from one side of the floor to the other. And his house where he dwelt another court within the porch, was of the like work. Solomon made also an house for Pharaoh's daughter, whom he had taken, like unto this porch. All these costly stones, according to the measures of hewed stones, sawed with saws, within and without, even from the foundation unto the coping, and on the outside toward the great court. And the foundation costly stones, even great stones, stones of ten cubits, and stones of eight cubits. And above costly stones, after the measures of hewed stones, and cedars. And the great court round about with three rows of hewed stones, and a row of cedar beams, both for the inner court of the house of the Lord, and for the porch of the house. And King Solomon sent and fetched Hiram out of Tyre, he a widow's son of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father a man of Tyre, a worker in brass, and he was filled with wisdom, and understanding, and cunning to work all works in brass. And he came to King Solomon, and wrought all his work. For he cast two pillars of brass, of eighteen cubits high apiece, and a line of twelve cubits did compass either of them about. And he made two chapiters molten brass, to set upon the tops of the pillars, the height of the one chapiter five cubits, and the height of the other chapiter five cubits, nets of checker work, and wreaths of chain work, for the chapiters which upon the top of the pillars, seven for the one chapiter, and seven for the other chapiter. And he made the pillars, and two rows round about upon the one network, to cover the chapiters that upon the top with pomegranates, and so did he for the other chapiter. And the chapiters that upon the top of the pillars of lily work in the porch, four cubits. And the chapiters upon the two pillars also above, over against the belly which by the network, and the pomegranates two hundred in rows round about upon the other chapiter. And he set up the pillars in the porch of the temple, and he set up the right pillar, and called the name thereof Jachin, and he set up the left pillar, and called the name thereof Boaz. And upon the top of the pillars lily work, so was the work of the pillars finished. And he made a molten sea, ten cubits from the one brim to the other, round all about, and his height five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits did compass it round about. And under the brim of it round about knops compassing it, ten in a cubit, compassing the sea round about, the knops cast in two rows, when it was cast. It stood upon twelve oxen, three looking toward the north, and three looking toward the west, and three looking toward the south, and three looking toward the east, and the sea above upon them, and all their hinder parts inward. And it an hand breadth thick, and the brim thereof. This content was provided by AngeloTricarico.com. Subscribe to the channel for more stories.